a mysterious death on a Southern California dock. A young father killed when his own pickup backed over him. Robert Nelson and Scott Neely took the case to get answers for his family. They suspected the problem was a long-standing Daimler Chrysler defect. The spring, that flat land. No flat land, stronger spring, no problem. The problem is this flat spot on the transmission's shift mechanism. If the shifter comes to rest on the flat spot, it'll indicate the car's in park, but the shifter can suddenly jump into reverse. In their investigation, the team uncovered some disturbing details. In one smoking gun memo, a manager wrote to his superiors that Chrysler shouldn't even investigate the suspected danger. Basically saying, well, one of the cons of our doing a survey is that it would um, it would provide, uh, give product liability credence to a hypothesis that we have long ignored and continually challenge. They had numerous chances over the years, and despite the fact that there were so many complaints involving this defect, they just literally did nothing. The team took the evidence of a cover-up to the jury, which awarded $5 million in compensatory damages and another 50 million in punitives. Hopefully, enough to send a message. When the auto industry is confronted with safety problems, uh, which Chrysler was 20 years ago with this issue, that they address them, uh, that they do not let them sit, they don't let them fester, and they certainly do not hide them. When you're dealing with a safety-related defect that can kill people, companies got to act. They've got to do the right thing.